Greetings. I'm Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones, the chairman of Douglas County Board of Commissioners, and I stand before you to deliver my third State of the County address. Today, my message comes from a place of optimism and hope, an optimism based on the strength and perseverance I've witnessed by our community in the last six months, and a sense of hope that will guide our steps into what the future will demand. We are 150 years strong, with a population of over 140,000 residents. Douglas County remains resilient, even in challenging and unprecedented times. We may bend and lean, but we will never break. Speaking of resilience, I would like to take the time to extend my heartfelt gratitude to my fellow Board of Commissioners, Vice Chairman and District 2 Commissioner Kelly Robinson, District 1 Commissioner Henry Mitchell, Mitchell III, District 3 Commissioner Terenia Carthen, and District 4 Commissioner Ann jones guider Thank you for working tirelessly to serve, shape, and sustain the governmental affairs of Douglas County. Certainly, I would like to take this moment to recognize the Executive Cabinet members, County Administrator Mark Teal, Communications Director Rick Martin, County Attorney Ken Bernard, County Clerk Lisa Watson, and External Affairs Director Tiffany Stewart Stanley. Thank you for your tremendous support during such a challenging era. Also, I would like to take this moment to recognize all elected officials, constitutional officers, appointed officials, department heads, managers, government employees, first responders, healthcare workers, our state legislative delegation, community partners, clergymen, veterans, and all citizens who call Douglas County home. Thank you for exuding a unified commitment and dedication to our community. By no means has 2020 been a traditional year. Together, we have faced and continue to face a public health crisis in the coronavirus pandemic, which has led to an economic downfall across the nation. We also are confronting the horrific reality of racism and social unrest, leading us all to look within ourselves to address our troubled history and its effect on our present. America must see its true self and those genuine aspirations originating from liberty and equality and the reaffirmation of better days. This year, we have lost several American heroes, individuals who stood firmly on the belief of liberty, equality, justice for all. We must take their life's work as our marching orders to ensure that real change takes place. At the beginning of the COVID-19 global pandemic, we were introduced to a new reality, a new normal, consisting of washing our hands, social distancing, and wearing a mask. As a community, we bonded together to protect ourselves and our neighbors to minimize the spread of the coronavirus. As of October 2020, Douglas County has more than 3,600 cases, 405 hospitalizations, and sadly, 69 lives have been lost in our community. Many of our families and friends have, lost, have left us too soon but without the bold action of the Douglas County Public Health Board, led by Dr. Charles Creighton, Cobb and Pub Douglas Public Health Director Dr. Janet Meemark, Public Health Dep Deputy Director Lisa Crossman, and the entire public health team, the death toll would have been much worse. So thank you all. The Board of Commissioners and I thank you, and most importantly, the citizens of Douglas County thank you for taking such swift actions to protect the safety and welfare of our community. In light of these turbulent times, I commend the Board of Commissioners for advocating for a COVID-19 testing site that has bode well for our citizens. I commend the tenacity and the capacity of our first responders and public safety staff because your levels of excellence are unmatched. Special thanks to Sheriff Tim Pounds and the Sheriff's Office staff Fire Chief Scott Spencer and the Fire Department staff, Emergency Management Director Jason Milholland and support staff, 
E911 Director Greg Whitaker and staff, Douglas Wellstar Hospital CEO Craig Owens, all our physicians, nurses, clini uh, clinical and ancillary staff, thank you for a job well done. Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, Douglasville and Douglas County Water and Sewer Authority has continued to provide the same award-winning service our community has come to know and respect, and they continue to de demonstrate deep commitment during the extraordinary challenges set forth by the pandemic. In addition, thank you Greystone Power and Georgia Power for sustaining and maintaining our lights and electricity during the trials and tribulations of this pandemic. Our strength is defined by our toler tolerance to overcome setbacks. Our vision is clear, and we cannot pivot away from progress during uncertainty. Our credit position is favorable, and our debt burden is extremely low. The housing market in Douglas County is thriving with sales up by 7%, with average sales at approximately $215,000. Despite our circumstances, I often remember the echo of my Army drill sergeant, Drill Sergeant Shore in Monday, stating, we should limit our complaining because our situation could always be worse. Together, we will continue to build a strong economy by maintaining a track record of attracting reputable companies, bringing high-paying jobs committed to hiring Douglas County residents. Within the last year, a merchandising company called Stitch Fix opened a 985,000 square foot building committed to bringing over 900 jobs to Douglas County. On the western side of the county, a $200 million global wellness center called Preserve Life is under construction on an 1,100 acre development and will add 400 jobs and the list just keeps growing. By design, our future is bright and fixed on the fundamentals of investing with intention, cultivating talent, and building business success. Our competitive re reputation is indisputable with the $4.9 billion economic development pipeline worth more than Truist Park and Mercedes-Benz Stadium combined, placing Douglas County in an elite class all by itself. My administration will continue to work with the Douglas County Chamber and Douglas County Economic Development Authority to support the needs of small businesses here in Douglas County and to promote sustainability today, tomorrow, and in the future. Douglas County received a boost of good news in September 2020 that the Bandwidth Infrastructure Group a metro dark fiber network provider in North California and greater Atlanta is expanding its high capacity dark fiber network within Douglas County, Georgia. The Douglas County Economic Development Authority is working in partnership with the county and the company to attract and support new development and investment in our area. Growth in median household incomes in Douglas County from 2013 to 2018 increase by 21%, outpacing the U.S. at 18.5% and slightly less than Georgia at 22.8%. Our young professional residents between the ages of 25 and 44 years old represent a critical segment of the local workforce. Recruiting and retaining this population helps ensure a region can supply a growing labor force for existing and prospective companies. Employment growth in Douglas County from 2014 to 2019 increased nearly 17 percent, outpacing both the U.S. and Georgia averages. Most recently, Douglas County's unemployment rate dropped significantly in August 2020 to 6.9 percent as compared to 9.3 percent in July 2020, according to Georgia's Department of Labor. This decline in the midst of a pandemic is proof we are moving forward in the right direction. Special thanks to our Executive Director and of Economic Development, Chris Pumphrey, and our staff for advancing target and industry sectors 
that have contributed to skyrocketing employment growth in transportation and logistics by 205%, our software and IT by 297%, and research and development grew by 205%. Upon entering my second term in office, my vision will align with the crisis of today. The Board of Commissioners' five-year strategic plan starting at 2021 through 2025 will be deliberate and will guide our mission, vision, and values. Fiscal policy refer reform is crucial at a time when revenues are lagging. My administration will continue to seek robust grant funding as part of our sustainability model while withstanding added budget expenses related to personal protective equipment and supplies, testing and treatment resources, including essential pharmaceutical vaccine products needed to address the contagious mutation of this virus as we go forward. Together, we will emerge and ultimately restore, restore our economic prosperity. Our small businesses and corporations are playing key roles in flattening the curve in Douglas County. We must remain vigilant and we all are responsible for protecting one another because if we take this virus lightly, this virus will take us. I urge you to continue practicing and following current health guidelines by wearing a mask in public places. Watch your social distancing and stay home if you're sick. Moving into 2021 and beyond, the Board of Commissioners will continue to double down on reducing expenses and cutting spending due to the volatility of a slow economic recovery associated with the pandemic. Our strategic focus will shift towards identifying every possible cost savings opportunity combined with exploring various revenue generating opportunities to offset the lingering effect of this virus. Our hard work during the 2020 census in Douglas County will pay off by shaping our future with much needed federal funding to build hospitals, schools, roads, and public works, and also increase Medicare and Medicaid funding and much more. Our promising future is inevitable with so many exciting projects under construction. A special thanks to Douglas County voters instrumental in passing the 2016 SPLOST. Your, build, your vote is building our future with $51 million in committed uh, to transportation funds and road resurfacing, $32 million committed to fire and EMS, and $17 million committed to parks and recreation projects. Due to the SPLOST, dirt is moving all over our county and currently a brand new 18,000 square foot uh, senior center is about to be completed in Lithi Lithia Springs. A 30,000 square foot multi-purpose recreation center is under construction at Boundary Waters. New tennis courts and amenities are under construction at Deer Lick Park. A new concession stand, well there are new concession stands and press boxes and new bathrooms under construction at both Fair Play and Built Art Parks. Other noteworthy SPLOSS projects include a new state-of-the-art E911 radio system, a robust road resurfacing construction project, road widening projects, a fire station renovation comment, uh, have transpired, new fire trucks, new ambulances, and a new fire station coming very soon. And not to mention, we have street lights and sidewalks coming very soon throughout the county. Without a doubt, Douglas County is moving forward. We launched a brand new interactive county government website in September after 20 years. Soon and very soon, a long-awaited veterans court system will be opening and Douglas County's DUI drug court most recently was selected as a model court in the state of Georgia. Optimism is our sanctuary, and I am proud to announce that a new driver services center is being built in Douglas County in the very near future. I extend heartfelt appreciation to Georgia State Senator Mike Dugan, Georgia State Senator Donzella James, and the entire Douglas County State Legislative Delegation for making a dream come true in Douglas County. 
Serving as the chairman of Douglas County is an honor and a privilege. I appreciate your confidence in my ability to lead us fo forward during these vulnerable times. Our body of work is massive and our message of striving for excellence is resonating all over the state of Georgia and we should be proud. Our bias stigma is diminishing rapidly as we are leading best practice and promoting diversity in all sectors of government. Douglas County government has become a proud affiliated, affiliate of disadvantaged business enterprise and thank you Commissioner Terenia Carthen for leading the charge for the Disadvantaged Business Enterprise Programs. These programs are designed to remedy ongoing dis discrimination and the continuing effects of past discrimination in federally assisted highway, transit, airport, and highway safety, financial assistance, and transportation markets nationwide. Thank you so much, Commissioner Carthen. Let it be known today and hence, henceforth, Douglas County is open for business. In light of our circumstances, my first and ultimate priority is to protect the safety and welfare of every citizen as we weather the storm of this unprecedented virus. We must pace ourselves because this is a marathon and not a sprint. We cannot afford to collapse because before we cross the finish line. Together, we will continue to work while we wait on a safe and approved vaccine. Meanwhile, we cannot sit still. We must keep moving with a new era of development, growth, and productivity. We must seize the opportunity to address our severe housing shortage and tackle our smart growth, development, roadblocks, and accommodate the growing needs of our seniors and millennials. Our roads in our subdivisions are aging, and I will be introducing a robust resurfacing plan to address this pressing matter. Our roads are congested within the county due to the, our growing population, and our splashed road widening projects are in progress throughout the entire county, and we are looking forward to a day of relief. We are a resilient county. Our 150 years of existence is not in vain. We are standing in the footprint of past generations, and it is our responsibility to seize the opportunity of this crisis in order to generate genuine and lifelong change. Most of us understand the danger of the coronavirus, and we are willing to make simplistic sacrifices to protect ourselves and others. These difficult months have demonstrated our true resiliency, resiliency, thrown our deficiencies into sharp liberation, and has established the platform for what we as a unified One Douglas can accomplish. Trepidation blocks out hope, kindness, and common sense thinking, traits which we need now more than ever. In the words of Albert Einstein, Strange is our situation here upon earth. Each of us comes from a short visit, not knowing why, yet sometimes seeming to a divine purpose. From the standpoint of a daily life, however, there's one thing we do know, that we are here for the sake of other men, above all those upon whose smile and well-being our happiness depends. For the countless unknown souls with whose fate we are connected by a bond of sympathy. Thank you, Albert Einstein. As we find our way, the principles of hope, justice, and opportunity will channel our path. Just in a matter of moments, our, all of our lives tra transform from congregating to quarantining. This crisis has opened doors to innovation as we wait for the date of a vaccine. Without reservations, this is a year we will remember for a very long time. While this pandemic will one day recede, it is our responsibility to press through to the other side and we cannot return to the status quo of the failures of our past. It is incumbent upon all of us to move beyond division and embrace diversity for our greater good. Our future is fixed on our morals to catalyst change 
to soothe the unfamiliar stress of an invisible virus and to address the setbacks of racial and social unrest in a nation in order to change our path. Together, we are a resilient county equipped with a moral compass that will guide our future and set the tone for those who will succeed us. May God continue to bless Douglas County, the state of Georgia, and the United States of America.